crew with Sam Adams, love that name, Tackle on the nose guard, and Eric England, who's already been on some big plays. The four linebackers, Solari, Atkinson, Jackson, and Shorter. And then the secondary, Glenn, Mickens, Hendricks, and White. They are as solid front to back as you could want. Very experienced. Second and eight. Bundy flips it. Incomplete intended for the fullback, Dwayne Chandler. They've got all the right play action working in the background, in the backfield, like uh, Watson Brown said they would. They got to hold on to those kind of footballs right there. He had so much running room, Steve. It was unbelievable. I said Chandler was actually Collier, 33, not 32. So it'll be third down and eight. Thomas cannot get outside because Sam Adams was waiting for him. Sam Adams, all Southwest Conference last year. First rounder coming into the draft. I'm surprised that Oklahoma didn't come with three wide outs being where they are. They come with the option, once again, going back to Watson Brown, very unpredictable. Hard to say what he's going to do. It's a loss of six. Blanton will have to back right up to the end line and get it away quickly. Oh, he might have a rough in the kicker here, Steve. I don't know if a and got a hand on it or not, but a flag is down as they did run into Scott Blanton. And we will await the call from John Lorry, the referee. It's only a 24-yard punt, and if they touch the ball, then they can go ahead and crash into Blanton. But if they Absolutely. didn't... Absolutely. Wow. Yep. Apparently, they did not hit the, the ball. The ball was tipped, but not by the person that ran into the kicker. Personal foul, roughing the kicker. The Aggies had 10 men up, definitely telling you they're coming after it, and they had some problems in the center. Just everybody's up there right now. Blanton looks like he's on stride, but apparently not on stride enough. That ball nearly blocked. From this angle, it doesn't look like the ball was... Uh, I don't know. On second, on second thought, it does look like it was tipped right there. Well, 38 is Reggie Graham, and 23 is Keith Mitchell. They were both in there. They both ran into Blanton, and it looked like perhaps Graham did get a hand on the it ball. Looked like Graham got a hand on the ball. But you think Blanton's going to tell anybody? <laughs> <laughs> no way. He's got to come with his best acting job right then. So the Sooners get the ball back, and the penalty moves the ball out to about the 18. As you see, no score, 6.33 in the first quarter, and now referee John Laurie over explaining it to R.C. Slocum, who, of course, is not in total agreement. First and ten Sooners. From their own 18, Collier, the lone setback. Option again. Gundy's got a hole. Has enough for the first down. A gain of 11. CFA College Football here on ABC Sports being brought to you today by the heartbeat of America. Chevrolet and your local Chevy dealer. By State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And by Hitachi. Hitachi makes over 20,000 innovative products. Gundy now has rushed the ball on the option four times, gained 13 yards, and run. That's something that he, we didn't see in looking at the tape of the first game this year. Well, that's something new for A&M. They, they hadn't seen that themselves, so they're making them think out there. They're doing exactly what they said they try to do to them. First down, Oklahoma. Thomas banging straight ahead. Out to near the 36, Jason Atkinson. Senior linebacker out of Houston, number 43, makes the stop. Allen, right now, big game last week, 204 yards, couple touchdowns. 
Just an eye formation lead, pounding the football. They're trying to mix it up on him. Allen, a very sought-after high school player, and he is only a freshman out of Winniewood, Oklahoma. He gains seven at second down three. Collier with a big hole. Steve Soleri finally brings him down, but Ben Cavill, number 63, sprung him with a good block. They trap the outside linebacker right here, comes up the field shorter. You can see the block. Cavill comes out, gets a good block on Atkinson, and there they're off to the races. Good seam. That's all they look for in a play like this. It's just lanes and seams. They don't need a whole lot. Just enough to get in there and get going. Big Ben Cavill, 285-pound junior out of Lamarck, Texas. And first down sooner for their own 49. Bundy with lots of time. Over the middle, complete to the tight end, Ricky Brady. Brady gains about nine before Atkinson and Soleri bring him down. This is the guy they want to throw to ten times a game if they can. Projected first-round pick, has all the credentials. He's been bothered by injuries, and that's really got Watson Brown upset a little bit. Ed Gibbs, they'd like to use him a lot more. He compliments Warren and Hall with their vertical stretch down the field. Brady, a senior from Oklahoma City. Sooners with second and one at the a and 42. Collier has the first down and falls forward to about the 37th. Tripped up by Lance, tackled in the nose guard, 58. Not a bad play there, kind of a waste down, second and one. A lot of teams will fake that play and just throw it upfield, knowing they got two more downs to get one yard. Tackleman appears to be doing a decent job so far. That's one thing we wanted to watch, Ron, was that middle matchup. But the Sooners, in spite of the tackles he's making, are gaining yardage through this. Well, they mentioned that A&M will be reckless at times. They'll just come on a blitz for no reason, and they're hurting with that right now. It's another Oklahoma first down. Collier runs into his own man, the blocker, Joe Carollo, number 68. And Antonio Shorter and Larry Jackson bring him down. That didn't develop exactly like they'd hoped. Carollo and Langston, they consider those two guys their meet up front. I mean, that is where their strength is. And they'll try to get a lot of stuff in there, a lot of leads, a lot of OTs right up in that center, work on, on tacklemen. And, uh, and try to just get things moving down the field in a consistent fashion. Three wideouts in the game. Juwan Penny, number 89, in at wide receiver. And Gundy rolled a short rollout, throwing back. Incomplete. And a flag. It was intended for Penny. Tough, tough call here, Steve. Penny went on the post corner route. Aaron Glenn, one of the best cornerbacks in the nation right now. He's with them all the way. You're going to see a rollout by Gundy. Penny is going on the corner right. He's going right toward the pylon. The ball's thrown inside. He makes an adjustment. Aaron Glenn is right there. And I don't know why they could they call that interference. He's got to make an adjustment on the ball just like Juwan Penny had to make an adjustment on the ball. The poorly thrown ball, they're both adjusting. They get Glenn for interference. You know, as a corner, you try to keep your head out there. You try to stay in the game and just play no matter what happens. But when things like that happen, it's very, very difficult because that is probably one of those calls that could have gone either way. Yeah, that was a very, very marginal call. And it gives Oklahoma a first down at the 20. Pitch back to Thomas. He slips as he tries to cut back and maybe gains a yard on the play. You know, that's unfortunate for the slip there because I think he had something up front. They had some seams. They had the gaps they wanted. Just a little toss. Kind of a, a, a difference between a, a quick toss and a, and a draw read, a delayed draw. Something that worked real well for him last week against TCU. This is the 11th play now of this drive. And remember, the Sooners punted from their own end zone. And m hit with a penalty then of roughing the kicker. And then the interference. But Oklahoma for the second and nine. Gundy with the out route for Albert Hall, incomplete. Hall out of bounds again, Aaron Glenn, 31 on the coverage. 
Aggies doing a real good job of being disciplined in their man-zone combinations. That time they're playing a zone toward the field and a man combination on the boundary side. That can give the receivers and the quarterback some, some difficult looks because it's hard to get a pre-snap read on it.